Now, look, I understand, uh, you know, the decision, the feelings, the whatever support of Donald Trump is mixed in the country. About half and half, right? Uh, half support Trump. And the other half think he's uh, a Nazi and all that shit. So Donald Trump, if, if nothing else as president, if he doesn't win re-election in 2020, this four years, a beautiful example of trolling the left and calling them out on their bullshit. Because we all know it's fucking crap. We all know this. Well, anyone who's paying attention. Oh, it's for the children. It's for the kids and the border. And they're being put in cages. And they're dying and all this other shit. Donald Trump recently came out and said, you know what? You're right. We're overloaded at the border. We have nowhere to put these people. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put them on buses and we're going to ship them to sanctuary cities. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. This, this guy is, he, he's fucking brilliant. Brilliantly pointing out the hypocrisy and the bullshit. Not in my backyard, people. No, 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 no. <laughs> See, no, 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 Nancy Pelosi. You've got plenty of room in your mansion. Why don't you take a few illegal aliens? I mean, why not? How about in Seattle? How about Portland? How about Chicago? How about New York City? Well, yeah, bring him on. Borders are open. All this other, oh, you're evil. You're cruel. You're mean. Donald Trump, you son of a bitch bastard. And Trump says, you know what? You're right. We're going to, um, we're going to put them in your city, San Francisco, Portland, Seattle, Chicago, New York, all of these other woke places. You betcha. We're not going to leave those people on the border. Tell you what, we're going to give them a hearing. We're going to put them on a bus and give them a ticket. Say, okay, come back in three years for your deportation hearing. You're going to San Francisco where they have rice and roni, the San Francisco tree. How about Portland? Hey, they have no other problems. There's no homeless people in Portland or Seattle, or Los Angeles, or any of these places. Hell no, man, all those problems have been solved here. Take some more illegal aliens in. Now Cher, not a fan of Donald Trump, finds herself, oddly, uh, agreeing with Trump on this. Basically, she said something on the order of, hey, in Los Angeles, we have 50,000 homeless people here to take care of. We don't have the resource. We can't take any more people in. Well, Queen B. That's what people who want to control the border have been saying for fucking years. We've got plenty of problems to tackle. We've got homeless veterans and every American should hang our heads in shame that men and women, mostly men, but women too, who serve this country in the military do not have a place to sleep. They live on the street. So we have plenty of problems. We've got poor kids you know, in neighborhoods all over the freaking country, they get done with high school. Maybe they're not college material. Maybe they just want to get a summer job to get ahead and get a car. Fuck no, they're priced out of the market. Why? Because illegal alien labor is cheaper. Oh my God. But yet here we go. Rahm Emanuel, Chicago, as if all the problems have been solved. <laughs> Rombo in Chicago, we welcome all these immigrants with open arms. Really? Okay, then. I guess you agree with Donald Trump. So let's get the buses rolling. I mean, Chicago, Illinois could use a few more people sleeping on the streets and <laughs> dependent on the government. Oh, my God. So share for one brief moment actually makes some sense. Turns out there's like 50,000 people in Los Angeles that are homeless. Same in Florida. Same in a lot of the warm states where you're not going to freeze to death in the winter. And some other woke northern cities, Denver and Portland and New York City and Baltimore and all of these places, Philadelphia. Donald Trump says, yes, we're going to let all these people in and we're going to put them in your city. Oh, no. No, see, that's not what we meant. What we meant is we just, uh, we, we don't know what we meant. But we don't mean, we don't mean that because reasons, <laughs> you evil Nazi. Oh, and so Trump could come out and say something on the order of maybe he has already. Okay, then. So you agree we're going to keep them at the border and then heads explode. We've been saying we don't want them stuck at the border, but, but Trump is going to put him in my town. In my backyard? No! He's, he's evil. He, um, wait, the old um, standby. He's racist, homophobic, xenophobic, blah, 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 Islamophobic, blah, blah, do, do, do. White supremacist, racist, sexist. They can't come up with a good one for this one, though, can they? Really? This is what they want. 
They want illegal immigration, just not in their backyard. Oh God, Trump is a freaking genius. I love it. James Maxwell, thank you for listening.